welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. My apologies. A lot is going on right now. So quick little recap. Um, I'm going to try not to talk too much, but you know how I am. So I look a little beat up right now. Not too bad. I'm going to show you my face um, in a second. But what I got done yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram, you are already aware of this. And you can check out my IGTV. I actually uploaded an IGTV talking about the procedure I got done on my face. So right now I am trying to clear up all of my acne scarring and I want to resurface my skin. So when I moved to Florida, from New York four years ago. My face freaked out like never before. I had worse acne at, I don't know how old I was, um, 24 years old than I did when I was a teenager going through puberty. I don't know if it, it had to have been the climate change, um, how like wet and humid the air is just coming from New York where it was a lot drier. My skin freaked out and I had the worst acne of my whole entire life. Really bad adult cystic acne really really bad all around my jawline all around like my cheekbones right here nothing really on my forehead it was mainly just like in my on my cheeks and then on my this side of my um jawline and i've been to dermatologists and they just are like they have to shoot me in the face with they like they i don't know what it is but um they put nothing will take would take away my my acne it was really big cysts so it wasn't even like acne it was an actual like cyst on my face it was like you could feel it it felt like huge if you have cystic acne or have had cystic acne you know what i'm talking about it's it's painful it's terrible i wish that upon nobody and so the only way to get rid of these cysts was to go into the dermatologist and have them like put a needle in the pimple inject it with whatever medicine and it would go away in a couple days but it would they would always come back or i would have really bad scarring um so and also from all of just my years of like picking my skin picking my face i've never had perfect skin ever i've always you know had acne um i have oily skin so just from picking my skin and my face i feel i don't know if this is the right word but like i feel like my face has like little craters in it like little divots where just like they're like little like i like the moon <laughs> I don't have like a crazy crater face. I know I don't, but I just have uneven skin. My skin tone is uneven. Um, it's not smooth in a lot of places and I have a lot of deep, dark acne scarring and it's a big insecurity of mine. I work out a lot. I always feel like I have to put on a full face of makeup with foundation when I go to the gym because I'm so insecure. Um, and I know that's silly, but it's just an insecure, insecurity of mine. We all have our little things and my skin has always been one of them. So I decided enough with the dermatologist. Let's go to an esthetician, a really good, highly rated esthetician. And I found one in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, the name is Peace Love Med Spa. We started off with a um, Hydra facial and she added in like a light chemical peel in the hydrofacial but that was step one to just clear out all of the gunk and dirt and whiteheads blackheads everything out of my pores before we went in with the microneedling that was last week and then yesterday i had my first microneedling appointment so what i'm getting done is not just simply microneedling it is called fractora so what fractora is so forgive me go to my igtv if you want to learn more and actually see me getting it done here's my instagram name um and i ask kelsey my esthetician i ask her questions so it's really informational it's about i think a six minute video or a seven minute video so it's not too long i would go watch that if you're interested in learning more um or if you're in the south florida area and you want to check out like you know what they did for me at peace love med definitely check out my igtv but in summary fractora is microneedling on steroids she says so it is rate it's pairing radio frequency with microneedling so what it is is this little pen that has i think eight different needles in it and she i'm laying down and she presses it on an area of my skin like right here for example that big scar i have nothing on my face i can't wear any makeup um so i have nothing except for some um aquaphor just because i had needles puncturing my skin so that's all i have on right now is aquaphor and then a little a little lipstick um 
but like she presses this pen of needles into your skin and like she's pressing it and then it like goes, it, you make, it, you hear a noise and the needles come out of the pen and puncture into your skin. It's not deep, don't worry, um, but there's also light because of the radio frequency. So it's microneedling and radio frequency at the same time. What Fractora does is it not only completely gets rid of my acne scarring, it also resurfaces. So it is going to take away all those craters and divots, like I was saying that I had from all of my acne scarring. And it's going to make my skin smooth. It's gonna tighten and like lift everything up. So I'm so excited. This is, I had my appointment yesterday at 5 p.m. and it is 8.30, 8.45 in the morning right now. So not even 24 hours. Um, and, I, and on Instagram, if you want to follow along with my skin journey i have made a highlight on my instagram page titled beauty and it's like i'm going to be taking pictures every single day of my progress of my skin um but this is what it looks like just up close and personal on video right now this camera is not very forgiving and i'm in the natural sunlight right now um or like at my window really not bad like i was expecting scabs and peeling and I my face does not burn it doesn't hurt um I don't feel my face is not tight I feel like a nor I feel completely 100% normal as if I didn't get it done so like is this normal I might text my esthetician because she gave me her number just to make sure everything was okay and like later today I think I'm gonna text her and be like is it normal to look and feel normal because like I was expecting because she told me like expect you might get breakouts you might get um, you know you might be red which I am obviously a little red if you in person if you look at my skin really close you can see my texture of my skin is off it's a little bit bumpy but again I had needles puncturing my skin so obviously I'm gonna be a little swollen on my face um, and she did it all over. And then one more thing I wanna add, which you can see in the video on my Instagram, so definitely go there, but just for YouTube's sake, just in case you're new to my channel or you haven't seen Instagram yet, they give you at my salon, which I've never heard before, which is key, honestly, they give they gave me a um, numbing cream to put on my face an hour before my appointment, and I, it did not hurt. The microneedling did not hurt, and it hurts normally if you don't have any um numbing on your skin and i could feel it but it was just like a little like pinch and like some areas like around my eyes were like she didn't do it on my eye but like you know obviously right here underneath my eyes that was like oh i feel that you know but it didn't hurt me i go for three sessions three weeks apart so my first one was yesterday in three weeks i'll get my second one and then three weeks from that i will get my my third and final one because i don't have too too bad scarring so i only need three sessions and after my third session after i heal completely i will have a smooth clean acne free scar free face that has been lifted and tightened and i'm going to look more youthful um you, your skin creates more collagen when you get microneedling it's so cool so i just want to share that with you kind of give you a little update and i'm just gonna take you through a day today i cannot work out um for like the next two days or so i can't sweat i can't be out in the sun so like not even taking walks if i take a walk if i'm like going fucking crazy i might just take an umbrella which will be fine because i'll be shielded but i wanted to show you guys what i'm gonna do and how i'm gonna act and live without being active which is not normal for me so it is like i said it's almost nine o'clock in the morning uh and what i decided is i am going to do a little bit of intermittent fasting while i can't work out so my goal today is to start my day of eating at noon i was hungry like 30 minutes ago but now that i'm doing things and i'm talking and i'm busy and i'm drinking water i have my coffee um nothing in it i don't feel hungry anymore so i'm just gonna try to keep busy and get to work and have my first meal which i don't really know what it's gonna be yet at noon so i will keep you posted on that so that's my kind of like i'm gonna try to do intermittent fasting and the only reason i'm gonna do that is because i it's gonna be the weekend uh it's friday today so 
Brian's gonna get home. Like we were supposed to go out to dinner to our favorite restaurant, we had reservations. It takes a month to get reservations at this place, but I'm gonna cancel because it's like definitely higher calorie, very decadent food and I'm not being active. So like I just don't need that heavy food. So I'm just gonna reschedule that for a different day in my reservation. Um, but you know, I tend to eat more in the evening, like you know, later in the afternoon in the evening, especially when Brian's home, he's eating a lot and it's hard, you know, it's just, that's. That's me. I eat a little bit more in the evening. So if you are an evening eater, I would recommend maybe playing around with intermittent fasting a little bit just to um, shorten your eating window during the day so you have more calories to play with at nighttime. So that's my approach for the day. I'm in my office right now and I love my office. It's so bright. I have no lights on. I just love like the natural sunlight. I put a diffuser on and I use my orange scent to just like kind of like it's very like it wakes you up. It's so nice and I have my rise up journal here right next to my desk every single day because I set my intentions, my to do's so I can stay very organized. And um, I want to just do like a, give you a little recap of what I'm doing in my business right now. So I am launching a group coaching kind of like a group coaching mastermind, I guess I would say. And it is for people who are interested in starting their online business, their coaching business online. They're starting, they don't know where to even begin. They don't know what to post. They don't know who their ideal client is. They just don't know the next steps to actually getting clients and building a business online and start making money and so I am opening up that uh, group mastermind. It's gonna start on April 1st, and I am just getting all of like the pre-work done right now, my launching strategy. Um, so right now, today, my project is to work on some email list copy. So I'm go I, I hired an assistant and she is going to be putting together my email sequences to go out um, all throughout the month of March, kind of hyping up my the launch of my mastermind. So what I'm doing today is I am just gonna be writing the copy for my emails, for all emails. I think I have about, I think I counted 12 or 15, I can't remember now at this point, but I have, I made a whole outline of the day each email is gonna go out, the topic each email is going to be. I am putting together like a master class, like a little webinar teaching. Um, it's gonna be completely for free and that's gonna launch um, in a couple weeks and I'm just going to teach people who are interested my secrets to how I built my online business and I made six figures in my very first year. So I'm gonna kind of do a bit like a master class and teach my secrets as to how I was able to do that and be able to quit my job and make so much money all working for myself in the comfort of my own home. So I am just kind of doing right now like all of that like launching pre-work, all the back end stuff that you don't normally see people do. I kind of wanted to just show you what I'm doing. Um, if you're interested, please, if you're not interested in the business talk and stuff like that and you're not really interested in what I do, in the back end that no one really sees, comment below, let me know. Like, you know, I don't really care what you do in regards to your business. I just wanna see you eat, you know? Like, let me know if you don't want the business talk, but um, I think it's really cool to see what goes into having a successful business from like, you know, the owner, the entrepreneur. So today I am putting a two hour timer on and I'm going to just write as many emails as I can for my assistant so she can start to implement that into an email sequence and we're just gonna schedule all of the emails to go out so we don't have to do anything and she's gonna do all of that for me and I'm just gonna give her the text that like the body of the emails and then she's gonna design them and schedule them and push them out on the days that I tell her to do so. Um, and that is on my agenda for the morning that I'm gonna do that before I get into client check-ins and a really great tip for you if you're an entrepreneur entrepreneur or trying to start your business or maybe even you're just in school or anything if I have a task I need to get done I like to set a timer and allow myself a certain amount of time for that task now I want to allow two hours for my email writing my the, writing the copy for my emails but I don't want to sit here for two full hours and not move because I'll get burnt out, I'll start going crazy, and I just can't do that, especially when you're like writing. I need to just like break up that two hours. So what I recommend doing, which helps so much, is come up with a time period that you wanna work on that specific thing that you're working on, a realistic time period. It doesn't have to be something all, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, three hours, I'm gonna get this whole entire thing done. No, just break it up into little increments, but when 
when you have a bigger time block, like two hours, like I'm giving myself, I don't want to sit in my chair for two hours. I will get burnt out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into like four. I'm going to break that two hours into like 40 or maybe even 30 minute intervals. So I'm going to put a timer on and at 30 minutes, I'm going to get up, get a drink, walk around, play with my dog, dance around and be silly and listen to music for, you know, I'm going to have like a 10 minute break every 30 minutes. And that is going to really break up that two hours and just keep me clear headed and motivated and still wanting to finish my emails. You know what I'm saying? And that really, really helps breaking up that time. So I talked a lot. I just wanted to give you kind of like the details inside of my life and I'm going to get working on these emails. It is literally nine o'clock on the dot. So I'm going to work until 11 while I'm taking a little mini breaks here and there. And then hopefully my hunger isn't too bad and I can eat my first meal at noon and I will show you what that is. And honestly though, like if I'm super hungry and I can't concentrate because I'm very hungry, I'm going to eat. Like I'm not going to restrict myself. So I'm just going to get to work and I will see you guys for my first meal of the day. Hopefully at 12 o'clock. I made it. It's 12.35 and I have been working on so many exciting things that truthfully, can I just tell you right now, I'm actually, like I'm a little hungry because there's, I mean, there's food right in front of me. I'm making myself eat right now. <laughs> so I'm so hyped right now on what I'm working on that the hunger just left me. Okay, this is so colorful and so beautiful. So. We had chicken masala last night. I buy this chicken masala sauce from Trader Joe's and I saute it with chicken. Um, and so that I have that the rest of that chicken. I have some butternut squash cubes that I've meal prepped this week. I have steamed broccoli and then steamed bell peppers. Steamed bell pepper, steamed broccoli are left over from last night. So everything was already prepared. And then I just have a little bit of avocado for some healthy fat since this is the first time I'm eating today. So I definitely want to get some healthy fat in, get some good fiber in. And then I have garlic salt on top. And then I'm probably, of course I am, going to add some green dragon sauce. So I am going to eat this beautifully colorful meal. And then I'm going to share with you something really, really exciting news. You are going to, I'm, I can't wait. I just had my lunch a little while ago and I got back to work because I'm so excited about what I'm working on and I just want to share it with you. I guess today's video is going to just be more of like I'm updating you guys on everything because I have not been around on YouTube and I like to just give you guys the lowdown on everything. So uh, some really exciting news. I told you about Kickstart to Coaching, the group coaching mentorship for people that want to start their online coaching business and they don't know where to start, they don't know how to start, or maybe even you have like a couple clients, maybe a handful of clients, but you're kind of nervous to take on more clients, you don't know how to grow. Um, it's really just for like the beginner entrepreneur, someone who has that burning passion, that dream to just go after what their soul is calling them to do. They can't get it out of their head, but they also don't know where to start. So that is what I'm going to be helping you with. And, um, honestly, it's at a really affordable price. Um, it's, better priced than most of the group coaching masterminds out there right now. Um, and I'm giving more value. <laughs> so it's awesome. And what I did today that got me the most excited is that I just nailed down the retreat. So after the three months I will be hosting, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is like a dream of mine. This is so trippy. I am hosting a retreat in South Florida for all of my business clients. So if you enroll in the kickstart to coaching group mastermind, or if you are my one-on-one -on -one business coaching client, I am inviting you in July to come to Florida and spend the weekend with me Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have it all planned 
out. I just nailed down the venue um, Friday night. I'm imagining like Friday is going to be the day when everyone comes in. So I'm going to kind of do like a later in the evening like meet and greet at um, a restaurant here in, in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, so Friday night is like a small little meet and greet with drinks and maybe some food and just really casual. Just getting all the excitement and hugs out of the way. Because I know there's going to be a lot of hugs and a lot of just screaming and excitedness, you know. Um, that's Friday. And then Saturday morning, we are going to start the day with an 8 a.m. F45 workout for whoever wants to join. It's not required, obviously. And that's from 8 to 9. And then there's going to be... I'm going to recommend a hotel for everybody. And at the hotel, there's a restaurant and little conference center slash private dining section. So after the F45 workout, we are all going to meet up at the hotel, like the, the, the restaurant business center, and we are going to have a group brunch together from 11.30 to one, and then from one, I haven't nailed down the exact time yet, forgive me, this is all very new, but um, from one o'clock, till maybe like four or five o'clock. We're just gonna do some like really strategic business coaching, me and you, like face to face. I can touch you, I can hug you. I'm going to be doing a lot of different exercises and just a bunch of different like personal growth work but also business growth work all throughout the couple hours of like the business strategy work. And that's gonna be for a couple hours. And then after that is done around like 6 p.m., we're gonna break for like an hour so you can go back to your hotel room which is gonna be right there so you don't have to go anywhere. Go back to your hotel room for you know 30, 45 minutes, like get refreshed, um, get dressed, and then we're going to convene in an outdoor private dining area outside with palm trees and a pool. It's just going to be so beautiful and really high level, high vibe. And we're all just going to have a really great dinner together. I'm going to customize the menu. So it's going to be delicious, obviously delicious and healthy, uh, a fresh a menu only for you guys. And we're just going to have dinner together. That's Saturday night. And then for anybody who is interested and wants to maybe go out and get a couple of drinks, we'll go um, and get a couple of drinks nearby so you don't have to worry about renting a car or spending too much money on an uber it's actually like basically right across the street from where you'll be staying at the hotel and at the venue we'll get some drinks um kind of just like hang out and then on sunday we will all be doing a photo shoot on the beach so i want to give you guys like uh, some some photos some good quality photos for Instagram so my photographer and best friend Susie Jetta is going to be taking photos of everybody on the beach um, so you guys have content for Instagram I'm taking care of all of this all everything is paid for the only responsibility you have is the plane ticket and the hotel room other than that the photo shoots are taken care of the brunch the dinner all of that is taken care of by me um, so Sunday we'll do the photo shoot in like you know 10 o'clock in the morning 11 o'clock in the morning do that for an hour or two um, nothing crazy long and extensive just getting you a couple really good shots on the beach um, and then we're gonna have a beach day like just a really fun beach day with volleyball and we'll go in the water and tan and just talk and hang out we'll have a picnic and I'll bring some food so we can all have like a late lunch and then we'll do that until like you know 3 p.m. maybe 3 4 p.m. Um, stay there for a couple hours go back to your hotel freshen up get ready rest and then later on in the evening for anybody who is still in Florida if you don't have to catch a plane or if you want to I will be inviting you to dinner if you want totally optional just like a little extra kind of like goodbye dinner for anybody that is sticking around and that wants to join Brian and I for dinner we would love that so I just nailed down the venue and now I'm just working on getting some speakers to come and speak at the event um, it's gonna be such an amazing experience for my business clients so I was just kind of like nailing all of that down today and I could not be more excited for that. I can't believe I will be hosting my own event and retreat. It's gonna be absolutely magical. So I think I'm gonna end the video here because I did talk a lot, but I wanted to update you on everything, get you looking at my skin. It's 2.30, so I guess this is not quite 24 hours yet of my skin, but the window is right here, so it's actually perfect. Um, it's just kind of like, not even bumpy. I don't know, just, you can tell I obviously got something done, you know? But 
way better than I expected. Like I don't, I don't hurt. I'm not peeling. It's really good. Um, so I'm just hanging out at home. I can't really go outside in the sun. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a walk when the sun goes down and maybe do a couple laps just cause like I'm going crazy in my house, not moving. So thank you for tuning in to this little update. This little life update and my exciting news about my kickstart to coaching program, which is going to be officially open on April 1st, but the enrollment will begin on March 13th. So stay tuned on Instagram. I will let you guys know everything. I'll be doing a bunch of stuff um, leading up to that point. So don't you worry. I got your back. If you're interested and you want to learn more already, shoot me a message on Instagram, comment below with your email address, or shoot me an email at xtinasullivanfit. I'll put that right down here. And then we can just talk, uh, maybe even get on the phone together and just talk a little bit. So I will catch you guys in the next vlog. I'm going to try my best to be better at vlogging now that I have an assistant to help me edit my videos. So I will catch you guys in the next one and I will talk to you soon. Bye.